Alrighty, well, I didn't cover the uh, switch over for April. It is now the Sun Gears. We got the Hat of the Dawn, the brand new Forbidden Library Horde Pack. A lot of people got some good stuff. Lucky, lucky. Wallaroo Wastelanders Pack is still in, and Burrower's Rebellion Pack. Now you can cash it in for some blueprint tokens, gold skeleton key, double animus of benefit, and the dual dragon flyers still there. Sorry. Okay, so I got rid of some jewels. I think that's what was bogging me down. Yes, because now I can buy it. Get it. And some people had a problem uh, with it not giving them the full amount. So, okay, we got fire, wand, it's cute. Oh, look, balance, dagger. Yeah, like we'd ever get anything for ourselves. And of course, the level is way above everyone else's, so they can't even use it. Yeah, but you're not gonna buy another one. Why not? It's free-ish. Okay, so we have an ingredient, and we have, oh my god, it's storm. So fraught, I guess, is storm. That's kind of cool. And a life amulet. Ring. What? That's an amulet. It says it's a ring, though. The picture's wrong. It is a band. Uh, whatever. Okay, so yeah, that image is a bit messed up. And one more. Why not? Give me something good. You don't ever... Oh, look at that. I got another hat for me. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And a life deck. See? Oh, the... the <laughs> Here's an amulet, and it shows a ring. Okay, so amulets and rings are a bit wonky. And this one is for myth. Wow, but I got some of that. So how many did I actually get? I got one scroll for that one and one scroll for that one. That's it. Okay, interesting. No, I'm not going to purchase any more. I mean, since how it's for me only, I guess I'll feed it to you, pet. I mean, because I have another one. So what is the difference between what I have on right now, which is the Brewer's Divination Hood, which, I mean, it's only for... 160, but it's still pretty good, I guess. So I gained some accuracy. Oh, finally. Okay, if nothing else, switching for that. And I got a lot of health, and I got a dissipate card, and one pierce, and four crit block universal, and plus 18 storm crit. I lost one resist universal, and I lost my incoming healing. Oh well, that's from the pin anyway. And I also lost my. Shadow Pip. Eee. That's okay. And you can put some pins on it as well. So let's see, what do we have? They are sward. Okay, I got some of those. So let's fix one of those. Why not? And then the shield. Do we have any? No, we don't. Okay. Well, that is fine. It's very pretty though. Oh, I love it so much. Very nice. Very, very nice. I almost look like I got a wig on. I guess it's a paper, um, paper wig. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this thingy sticking out. I'm assuming your ear covers are ink wells. I'm guessing is what that is. It still looks weird though. You know, I love how this looks. Very pretty. I don't even know what school that is. That one is for balance. That'll be a million years before he can use that. Okay, well, we have two of those. Eat it, pet. Yay, we got a pearl and a black pearl. <laughs> These are very pretty. Look at that with all the jewels on it. Woo! Are they each school? Uh, no, they're just kind of turquoise and purple with a red one in the center. Which is kind of weird because it's myth, so it should be like a... Uh, something else in the center. It gives 98 myth pip conversion and then 98... All schools. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I wonder if that's supposed to like help out with uh, the, you know, school pips. I don't know, but I do like how they changed the look of this now. The, the pip conversion it looks a little bit different. It looks kind of cool. Wow. Look at those. Can I have a crown like that? That's pretty sweet. Very pretty. All right. That one's for life. So we have crit and life crit. That's nice. That it gives you like double stuff. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, I didn't get a pet either. Not even a one day on the mounts. And life got the deck. Wow, they're so jeweled. Very nice, very nice. Shiny. And that one is, wow, my Nightmire deck at 120 is like the top stats are equal to it. 
with the max spells copies max your school copy in the sideboard that's crazy obviously it has a lot more health it has more crit block it has more crit at least for life i don't know what it has for storm and it gives you one regular pip and then it has some arch mastery rating that's pretty cool and then this one has weakness it'd be cool if it was a life weakness but whatever so we got some books i mean it's not a new item we got books lectern and an oracle all right enough of that i came here to show off the event which is the fire to cut lawn but <gasps> looky what i saw when i came in here because i was just realizing on my calendar um i don't have what's going to be for the rest of the month i didn't even know what was today so when i went on the calendar it actually says starting on the 23rd that's going to be the portal of peril and does it say which one i mean i do believe they told us it was going to start with sinbad but i was thinking okay well then what about the last two events? Well, look, here's one of them right here, Spiral Showcase. Well, I mean, it really doesn't take that long to do all these, which is catching a fish, feeding a pet a snack, completing a daily assignment, crafting an item, and helping a team at team up. So I guess they figure you're gonna get done with that really quick and you have your rewards. They're literally the same as every month, I tell you. Professor Sword Pack, that's the only one I care about. And Gold Skeleton Key. So many ways to get Gold Skeleton Keys. It's epic. And both the Spiral Showcase and the Fire Decathlon run from the 9th until the 15th of April. So it's good because if you really just, oh my god, I can't even, I just despise Decathlon. If that's how you feel, then hey look, you got some points right here. Easy peasy 100 per day. It's not that I hate the Decathlon, it's that I usually only have time to do it literally while I'm filming this and then I don't even touch it the rest of the week. I feel bad because... It's fun, but it's a little bit time consuming if you really want to, you know, get the rewards from it. And then the ones that just ended, Beast Moon Hunt and Rate My Stitch, you have until Friday of this week to redeem anything that you've earned. However, if you did not check to see if you earned Judge's Choice and redeemed it before the event ended, you have lost it forever. I really, 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 really wish they'd change that. At least give you one day. Just one day to get in there and check it. As far as I know, it's possible for you to lose the judge's choice because it's based on your ratings. So what if on the first day, everyone gave you like, you know, seven, eight, nine, 10, whatever stars. And then further down the line, people are giving you like two, three, they really thought it was blah. Doesn't that lower your rating? Because it's a percentage, isn't it? It's an average. So yeah, my, my suggestion as always, just check it often during the event if you really wanna get the judge's choice. Just check it a lot and don't wait until the event ends because whether you got it or not, uh, you will never know actually. <laughs> You'll never know. But we're not gonna do the spiral showcase yet. We're gonna do the decathlon. But first we're gonna go to the house and pick up the fire deck. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, okay, the highest one we have is four. So we did some fire decathlon, put it in my backpack. And before we forget, let's equip the fire decathletes deck number four. Alrighty. Don't bother looking at any of this stuff because you can't use it even if you can see it. This is a treasure card only event, so let's load them up. And if you get confused, just know that whatever decathlon it says it is, you wanna stock up on the opposite cards. You can generate the school pips inside the decathlon, so you can use these lore cards. I think that's good to start with, so we're gonna say go to event. However, it's gonna take us to the library. Number one, because it used to be in the library. Number two is because this is where you can stock up on treasure cards. Once you're ready, just go in the back to the glowing portal and that'll take you to the arena area where it is. I swear, Kara Rumor gets smaller every single time. Let's approach the sigil and collect our daily credits. pa -chow. We get three per day. All right, I got my pet. I got my deck. I got my spells. Let's go. Yes, let's go. There's two ways that you get points during this event. One is by killing creatures inside the Decathlon Tower and the other one is by using treasure cards. You don't have to use the treasure cards inside to get credit for, well, using them. Of course, you can only get credit for 20 of those per day. Kind of sad, but that's okay, I guess. Oh yeah, up we go. Each section of the tower consists of three levels, which is one creature, then two creatures, then one more creature, which is the boss. Okay, well, we're not doing too horrible right now. 
course it does help if you have a deck that doesn't start at one but if you don't have a high level deck that's for this event i would suggest using one of your own and just having a lot of space for treasure cards because the worst thing next to just getting defeated is running out of treasure cards you don't want that to happen and by the way you get one point per rank of these creatures so the higher up you go the more points you get for defeating them yay stage one is complete hey look it's kara rune right let's make sure we've purchased everything from her that we can okay she's got the recipe for fire decathletes deck number one so while we're looking at it this one gives me 36 cards instead of 16 that i can hold an additional 200 health an additional 60 resist for fire an additional seven damage for ice oh and an additional pip which oh my god yes and i gave myself a jewel which gives me a lot of health yes you can use those here what else do you have treasure card display fire shield ice cat and ice blade we have already purchased everything from you onward why yes oh they're so pretty though and that one was ranked two so now i get two special event points for these Okay, so I'm getting my points for using the treasure cards and for whenever I defeat these creatures. Thank you. Two and two for a total of four special event points. Who is our boss? Like a boss. Oh, it's the bear. I love the bear. Cha. I love it. Ooh. Boss went down. Ooh, that's a lot of augmentation runes. All right, Kara Rune Rate. Do we already get everything from you? Recipe for deck number one and deck number two. Blizzard and Minor Blessing. Very nice, yes. Onward and upward. Four. Ooh, 920. <gasps> he just we had, busted. We had a big air, uh, we had a big nail gun. Like the ones that take the air, the thing, mm -hmm. where it goes. Yeah. All right, they're dead, let's go. I don't know if we have enough to defeat these guys. Oh, I definitely don't have yeah. enough. I'm just going to let them kill me because I don't have enough treasure cards for this. You know what's really crazy is that when I want them to kill me, they like take forever to do it. If I don't want them to defeat me, they do it in one round. So what is up with that? Finally. Well, we got defeated, but that's just because we ran out of treasure cards. I actually didn't fill up my deck, so that's on me. What rewards did we get for that? All right, we got the... Fire Decathletes deck number one, which you get for 10 points, which is super easy to get. And then we got Cleanse Ward and Ice Rune, another Ice Rune and a Minor Blessing. And then a Snowbird and a Pixie. Nice. And then we also got the Power Claw. Other rewards you get are an Ice Rune, Decathlon Fire Tower Pack, Steerage Tickets. <laughs> 175 points is pretty easy to get as well. Wow, I already got 20. <laughs> That's it? One battle time? Wow. Then you can get a Decathlon Fire Rune Pack. Once you get a deck at appropriate level, I think it's three of which you can start putting jewels. It's either three or four. And then Rockhammer's Jewel Pack. And then you can get six ultimate runes. Wow. And then the pet is the Gryffindor Hamster. So cute. Interesting. Um... They don't have the leaderboard for the Decathlon anymore. Interesting. And they don't show you like what the rewards are. So I wonder if they've taken that away. I wonder if anyone's noticed that. I think a lot of people are distracted by uh, Pirate's Test Realm opening today. I'm so excited, but I can't do nothing. I cannot do anything at all. Because <sighs> I'm not far enough. I was really hoping it wasn't end of content only but you know but it doesn't seem like it. it doesn't seem like anybody noticed that that's gone interesting so are they not giving out the trophies either to the highest people i'm just curious hmm and as always all the points that you earn in the weekly events goes towards your current scroll of fortune all right now let's jump to the spiral showcase we already went through what you got to do for those points so let's just do it Okay, team up usually takes a while, so let's monkeys an embassy. That might be an easy one. One can hope. Oops, we're underneath the cave. Are we supposed to see that? <laughs> I probably got our special event points. Okay, now we're gonna check the lodestone. 
Today's assignment is to get a reading by defeating okay. one of no these problemo. in this location. 20 special event points. Oh yeah, and I got my gold. Alright, what else do we need to do? Okay, let's grab some. Pow. Alrighty. That's our crafting for the day. Normally I'd use an older pet, but uh, I didn't have one available at the time. And the pet that I normally go with, that one is completely maxed out. So I would be using up way too much energy. Okay, I see that I only got one special event point instead of the three that I was getting, so that must be finished. Alright, so I did my team up, I crafted items, did the daily assignment, and fed my pet snacks. However, I'm not going to do fishing because that's going to take a while. So let's collect all of our stuff. We got some treasure cards and some snacks and some gold. And I got a fishing luck elixir. Yes, exactly. That's my face. Now let's swap over to Pirate and check out their new weekly event. There we are. Pirates ho. Let's go to Skull Island to get the quest. Talk to me, Jowsley. Okay, this is one of the only problems that I have with this awesome weekly events is that all of them are in here at all times. So if I had already picked this up and had not finished it, like I did with the last one with the Royal Jelly Jam, I would have no idea which one it is. And I've had a lot of people commenting on the weekly videos saying, uh, I can't find the coins. Where are the coins? And it's because of the fact that it's actually, you need to go find the coral or you need to go find the jelly. You need to go defeat somebody. So, I wish that they would not have whatever's not going on that week. Make it invisible, please. It's confusing a lot of people. Because for me, I have to check the social media to see which one of these it actually is. But because I've already finished this one, that's why it's Dude, looking like a new one. Needs your help. Yes. Man Shu, the fiendish master of evil from Mushu, has hatched another scheme to rule the spiral. So make sure that you're looking at it, reading what it says, because this one I need to defeat three bosses to get these evil relics. They're not just available just anywhere. And for this one, you get the relic key. Then once you get the key, you can come in here by yourself, or I would suggest with other people and fight that particular boss and hopefully get some awesome rewards from it. I really want the wings. So let's use our port to get back to Aquila because if not, you either need to pay crowns or gold if you have membership to use the transport later. So let's see what they have in Aquila. Anything? Nothing. Yay. Yeah, team up is... Uh, Sometimes hard. Okay, so maybe we can get something out of the Cave of Thunder. If not, then I'm just not even going to bother trying to do this one. Wow, we got four people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woohoo, woohoo. Begins in how many days? What? Ten years from now? Okay, well, apparently that counted as one, but that is a three battle dungeon. That just reminded me why I despise this one. The only ones I could find that count towards it are like really long. And I certainly can't do them by myself. I tried to do one by myself that only had two battles and five of my companions died. Ow. And that's a boss that I defeated like a long time ago. So all in all, this event is pretty screwed up actually so uh i wish that it was better and i wish that it was fixed um yeah that's really all i can say and honestly i don't even do these on my higher up pirates honestly they're just too hard i mean with my lower level pirates i could just like go farm fin dorsal or something and it's super fast super easy but the higher up ones no honestly it's not worth it for me so thanks for checking out all of these weekly events and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye.